Hey Dragon Slayers, today's video is about my mistakes on the PE diet. I went too lean for my own personal uh, taste and I suffered for it. So whenever I do anything, I tend to do it to the most extreme just to see how far I can push the envelope. I did this with the PE diet and I suffered tremendously at first. To really understand why, I have to give you my backstory. I have two bad knees. One, I injured in college in an accident where I tore my ACL, MCL, and shattered my kneecap. The other one was a zip lining accident maybe three-ish years ago. I fell about six to eight feet. I landed wrong. I tore my MCL, ACL, and fractured my tibia on the other leg. So needless to say, I'm weak in the knees. <laughs> um, I can't run on concrete. I can walk, but I definitely cannot run on concrete or jog for that matter. It causes me extreme discomfort and pain. So about 10 years ago or so, I discovered fish oils, omega-3s, and wow, they do make a huge difference. Um, I take them daily and I have almost zero knee pain. After having lost about 30 plus pounds from doing my two 14 day fast that I did like more than a year ago now, uh, I lost a significant amount of weight. I lost about 35 pounds, maybe 30 pounds ish. And I didn't have any knee pain for six plus months. It was amazing until I started the PE diet. But the most extreme possible end of it, I went from eating a pretty high fat diet, probably 65 to 70 percent fat or maybe even more. It's hard to say because I didn't really track it to eating only boneless, skinless chicken breasts, ahi tuna and ground turkey breasts. The thing that I noticed right away was that the, the very dry texture. I thought that I was going to be really bothered by it, but to my surprise, I wasn't. It just took much longer to eat than normal, which kind of makes sense because you have to produce more saliva to get it down. It didn't really bother me that much. And then after about two to three days of doing this, my knee pain came back. I mean, really, really bad knee pain to the point that I could hardly walk. I was literally limping. I was very confused because I hadn't fallen, I hadn't bumped it or anything that would cause me to think of like, why am I in this much pain? It hurt on a, about a 6.5 out of 10. So on a pain scale where zero is no pain and 10 is knock me out because it's unbearable, 6.5 is pretty high. I began thinking, what's changed in the last few days? The only thing that had changed was that I essentially eliminated all fat from my diet except fish oils. So I didn't want to go back to the way that I was before, drowning butter in everything, or drowning everything in butter, eating mountains of cheese, keto ice cream, keto desserts. So that's when I created this P spreadsheet that I share with you guys in every video now in the description below to examine what had fat, but also lots of protein so that I could add it to my diet without derailing it or binging on fat again, like I used to. The most natural choice from my examination was pasture-raised eggs. I also didn't really like the 99% lean meat that much, so I scaled back a little and now I eat 93% lean beef and turkey. I will eat all of the chicken now, even the dark meat, because it's still about 93% lean or more. Chickens really don't have much fat on them or in them at all. But whatever I need to add, or sorry, whenever I need to add more fat into my diet, I simply eat more pasture-raised eggs. I try to eat a minimum of two, an average of four, and sometimes six or more eggs per day. Each egg is giving me about five grams of fat, six grams of protein, and a ton of micronutrients. 
I also use about a half tablespoon of butter to cook with them, so that gives me another extra 7 to 10 grams of fat. Instead of ribeye, I now eat flank steak. It's still really good and contains significantly less fat. After about two to three days of doing these small changes, my knee pain went away completely and has never returned. So lesson learned. Due to my injury, a zero fat diet will never work for me. I, if a uninjured person or a person that has never injured their, their joints, they might be able to get away with it for longer, but you need to eat healthy fats. They're essential to your well-being. I never intended to do this extreme zero fat diet forever. I just wanted to do it long enough to lose weight as fast as I possibly could. Although I don't recommend it, if you do try to do it and start to feel poorly, I would definitely up your healthy fats as quickly as possible to course correct. Everyone's body is different and you just have to test things on yourself to see where you land on the spectrum. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out so much guys. And remember. Together, you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.